bit of a short video. Um, this um, uh, on our previous video uh, for the 7800, we were showing a bit of noise coming up, and I got interested. I thought, what is causing this noise? And here it is. This LED light here that um, unfortunately is exactly what's causing this noise. Now, when I turn the switchboard off, look at that. And I can move that a fair way away, and it's, it was radiating everywhere. It's actually quite amazing. Um, but of course, turn that switch back on. And this is a little um, 12 volt switch mode, about 2 amp plug pack basically. And um, as you can see, the light, uh, I, I think the uh, switch mode, sorry, it's a bit fell over then, <laughs> rubbish on the ground here. Um, switch mode's not working. Oh, there you go. Actually, it did work then. Now, look at that, how much more noise. That's amazing. Now, that's what we were seeing earlier. And that is, um, I had to borrow the 705 um, <laughs> out of the box. And um, uh, it, um, it certainly is a lovely tool to, um, to be able to chase things like this. But yeah, so now let's go through the two stages of that. So there's power supply absolutely off. And if I switch this switch back off over here. So just the power supply alone sitting there. Uh, in, so that, that noise just there is what it is. But then as you see, once I give it this antenna length and a return path, even more. And uh, as you can see, that is just humongous. Uh, we thought it was our transformer causing the problem, but I went over next to the transformer and I thought, everything looks extremely clean, everything looks all right. And once again, we just do that, hello. <laughs> um, have a look at this, Sam. Light on, light off there, yeah. um, and then that's what it does to my radios. Absolutely, just and it it covers a lot of bands. And uh, I had to run around with this. I was running around outside everywhere. And yeah. Anyway, there you go, guys. This is a bit of a shorter video, just to um, show you just how one LED light and one power supply. Can give you trouble. Um, just hang on, Sam. Oh, yeah. Okay, Sam was just about to repeat a process we've already done. That's all right. I just wanted to. Um, anyway, uh, but uh, yes, you can see, you know, S9, and um, what Sam was saying was what we just did, which is basically when you add the antenna length of, of this cable here and also through the light and make it active, and but yes, it does get quite a bit substantially worse. But um, yeah, um, so that's a little trick for people to just, uh, the first thing we did just as a, um, hang on, turn that noise off. The first thing we did was turn the power off to the entire house. Now, the noise went away, which told us, okay, not the transformer box, even though I'd walked over to that, uh, just to check it. Uh, once you've got the power off to the entire house, and here were the things on my mind. Um, a lot of the new compressors on the fridges um, you know, and these new screens and bits and pieces with all their different options, you know, sort of that they, they do, uh, you know, they can be noisy. They, they really can go to view inside. Right, eh? What's in our fridge? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there you go. Cans of Coke. Yeah, right. <laughs> Six. We'll be right. Um, anyway, but some of these can be noisy. And when you get a noisy fridge, you're in big trouble because you've got to go through a lot of pain to try and get rid of it. Um, when you find it's a, a plug pack like this, um, you just thank God that it's something so simple you can throw out. And you don't necessarily have to throw it out. You may find it's just the plug pack. You might put a you know better plug pack or a power supply to this. It's 12 volt, 2 amp, so. Um, but generally, a lot of the LED lighting, yeah, look, unfortunately, a lot of the LED lighting is a little bit um, average, to say the least. Um, I've got someone here we're redoing at the moment on some of this car collection, which... Um, is the same thing where, uh, it's not the worst, but it's a little bit of noise we pick up off it. Uh, the other thing to watch out for, um, over here where I keep all my little Rolexes, um, is these things. Just be a bit careful of these. This one's not too bad. I've got a few ferrites on this now, and uh, that's, but they're this little USB charge, uh, charge, well, 
USB bloody doovers. Um, so everything's run by USB these days. This is the problem. Um, so these little motors run off these things here, and you can see, you know, current draws, etc. But before I put some ferrites on that, that was a bit noisy as well. So there are ways to get around it, but a, a power supply like this, where you go, forget it, don't even try. When you've got this level of noise coming off it, don't even try to to, uh, to put suppressors on there. You're just wasting your time. Um, it's it's a very cheaply made. Actually, you know, the good thing is you can actually see inside here. There's not much to it. You know, it's just a switching uh, supply some caps that are trying to do some very heavy duty work um, and um, yeah you know sort of um, there are better ways to create two amps um, that this requires uh, than, than that um, I'd al almost say go out to the shed and you know grab yourself an old three or four amp power supply and chuck it on it it'll last forever you know with a transformer in it anyway but one last look at it just to make sure 100% consistent yeah my goodness there you go anyway so uh, remember, turn the power off first to the house. Walk around with your 705. If you don't find anything then, start thinking, right, turn the power back on and start looking inside because it's not, it's not your transformer, it's not your solar system, it's not a lot of things. So, um, oh, that was the other thing too. Yes, um, you still will have to isolate your solar system um, with your switches and sometimes you can still get uh, issues with... Um, lines on solar systems where in the old days they didn't run shielded lines and so you know so if you can imagine even though you've switched your box off um, at the wall etc and there's still voltages being generated from the actual solar you actually need to get up on the roof click those um uh, those uh, isolators off as well but that's a real last resort very rarely is it your solar system these days to be very honest um with the new sma converters a lot of the german stuff um, unless you bought some of the Chinese stuff, which you'll, you'll find that very fast. A bad one is extremely bad. So um, anyway. All right, well, one last look so I can say to myself, thank goodness it's gone. 73s, guys, all the best.